think this is an unpopular opinion. I'm at Shopper's house. Just brushed all my hair out. Oh. Okay. For a split second, I was like, didn't. It was her birthday two days ago. We cancelled the plans. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have literally just come out of the shower. I'm gonna do some skincare, but it is a Sunday today. I worked out, I edited the last parts of my video, and now it is uploading. If you've not watched the last vlog, definitely go and check that one out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think I'm kind of done with everything I need to do for today. I have gotten all my stuff ready for work tomorrow. If you didn't know, I'm a primary school teacher. And yeah, this is just gonna be another chill week in my life video. I really enjoy doing these. I actually got my HelloFresh parcel today, so I'm gonna cook dinner with you guys and show you what kind of recipes I got for the week. It's funny because I was actually using a old HelloFresh recipe that I had in the last vlog. Before I go down, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and straighten it so it's just ready for the week. I think I wanna change my bedding as well. Just spraying some heat protectant before I go in with the hair dryer. I've got my hair dryer and I'll see you guys when my hair is dry and we can straighten it together and have a little catch up. I'll tell you kind of what I'm doing in this vlog because I actually have plans, which is very rare for me. I'm just finishing up straightening my hair. I moved the camera because of the lighting. Oh, my older sister, Shafa, it's her birthday on Friday and I'm so excited. I already know what I'm gonna get her. I've known what I'm gonna get her for months I still haven't got it yet it's a present from me and Maria and I will pick it up at some point this week but I'm excited to show you guys what it is as well and obviously I will tell you but I will wait till when I'm getting it to show you guys so yeah you'll just have to keep watching we are gonna go out to a restaurant on the weekend and I'm so excited because I haven't been dressed up and been out in so long so I'm excited to get an outfit together and get ready and I don't know where we're going yet but there's lots of nice restaurants in Manchester. I think this will actually be my last vlog before Ramadan vlog start. I'm gonna go downstairs and we are gonna cook the HelloFresh meal together. I'm gonna go check on my vlog as well because that is uploading. <laughs> It's Tuesday today and I just finished work. I know I said I was gonna cook my HelloFresh on Sunday, but we ended up eating something else, so I'm just gonna cook it today. I thought you guys could cook with me. So with it being the new year, I've really been trying to stick to a routine. One thing that I felt that I was really lacking at last year was having a nutritious meal for dinner. I feel like I would just get busy with life and then I wouldn't know what to cook. Choosing what to eat every day and making sure that I have enough ingredients and when to buy it really stressed me out. It's so convenient, it helps me stay consistent in keeping my healthy habits. You can just go onto their website or their app and there's just so many meals on there that I wouldn't personally think to make and you get the exact amount of ingredients you need sent to your door so there's no food waste which is something that I really love about HelloFresh. It's also just really good value for money like I was saying before. I feel like I would go out and overbuy ingredients that I didn't necessarily need. I think HelloFresh is really good value for money. The prices start from £3.15 per serving. Okay, so I've just taken all my ingredients out of the box and I'm gonna make the quick Thai green style veggie curry today. And this is something I've never cooked. Really excited to try something new. What I love about these recipe cards is that they're so easy to follow. All the instructions are at the back. I have so many of these HelloFresh recipe cards that I just keep when I really like the dish. If you are like me and you're trying to stick to some healthy habits and you think HelloFresh can help you out, then I actually have a special discount for you guys. You just go ahead and scan this QR code and you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes, which is just an amazing deal. And if you make any of the recipes, make sure to DM them to me on Instagram because I want to see what you guys are making. Yeah, let's get on and cook this dinner because I'm really hungry now. So I've just prepped all my vegetables and I'm going to start making the curry for it now. I just plated everything up and this is what it looks like and I can't wait to try it. It is Wednesday, I'm back from work and I'm gonna do some little DIY things for my classroom so I thought I would show you guys what I'm up to and what I'm making for the class. So we started this thing on Monday mornings called Affirmation Mondays. So we've been working on saying positive affirmations and kind of just learning what that is, just to kind of give confidence to the kids. So I've seen this thing on Pinterest called an affirmation 
Creation mirror. And I'll show you what it is. I'll show you my inspo picks here. They're really popular all over Pinterest. I just thought it was a really nice idea because it goes with the, what they're learning. This mirror was already in the classroom, but I felt like it just wasn't serving a purpose. It was kind of just there for decoration. So I will show you what I'm going to do with it. So this is the mirror. It looks small to us, but that's kind of how tall they are i'm gonna give it a good clean and then this is what i've printed out i got the borders off twinkle and then i just wrote all the affirmations in there and the idea is that they're gonna look in and like say i am and then pick one of these if they do use it i'll let you know if it's kind of a fail <laughs> then I'll let you know as well because, you know, they could just rip these off. I'm also gonna make another chalkboard sign. I've made one of these before for the creative area. I'll put a picture of it here. I don't know if I've shown it on my vlogs yet, but it's so cute and I kind of change it for each topic, but I want this one to stay the same. It's gonna be for the reading area and I'll show you guys me doing this as well. Trusty hot glue gun, which I've had for years and yeah, I feel like everyone needs a hot glue gun, it comes in handy. Okay, this is how it turned out. I think it's so cute. I really hope they enjoy it and use it. This is the final product. I think it's so cute. I've tied in some of their old topics as well, along with their new one, which is fairy tales. Okay guys, really quickly because my battery is about to die, I just wanted to talk about the book that I just finished and if you watched my last vlog you saw that I was finishing off of Verity and I have finished it now and I honestly, I think this is an unpopular opinion, but I really didn't like this book. I saw so much hype about it online. Everyone I saw posting about this book said it was like 10 out of 10. Like the plot twist is so good. And I don't know, maybe I was being really judgy about and like cynical about the book, but the plot twist is predictable and it wasn't, everyone was saying like, oh, it's so haunting, but it wasn't. And the worst thing is, spoiler alert, by the way, at the end, it's unresolved. You don't know what happens. Wait, that's all I'm gonna say on this. I just honestly didn't, it was really a fast read that like you'll get through it fast. And I guess it got me out of my reading rut, but yeah, just don't trust TikTok, book, talk, whatever it is, because this is like the third time now I've just not liked a book that I found from TikTok. The next book that I'm gonna read is Woman in Black. I'm so excited. I've kind of started this already and it seems really good. I know it's a classic. I'm sure it is deserves the hype that it has. It's more different for me. It's more of a horror genre. So I'm excited to get into this. It won't take me long to finish. I have made myself some tea. So I'm just gonna sit here and read for a bit. And yeah, I probably will speak to you guys on the weekend now. Hi guys, it is Sunday today and I'm going out for brunch with my sister, Shafa. It was her birthday two days ago and we were gonna go for a birthday dinner but it started snowing. We cancelled the plans because we didn't really want to go out in this weather to be honest. Honestly, I'm getting to that age where brunch is better than dinner. Um, before everyone asks where my little sister is, she was actually busy today and she told us to just go ahead because again, I have my birthday plans next week and we'll all be there together. Yeah, she said it wasn't a big deal. I think the place that we're going to is called Junipers, but I'm going to Shuffle's house first because she's going to fix my hair for me. She's got the Dyson Air up and I've been begging her to Dyson Air up my hair for so long and she's finally going to do it today and then my outfit is also at her house. Well, it's not my outfit. She's letting me borrow one of her outfits. And yeah, I'm not sure what the place is that we're gonna go get brunch, but Shuffle has been there before and she said it's really nice. And then we are gonna go to the Trafford Center after because me and my little sister are chipping in to get her a bag. We're so excited to give it to her. She has no idea. Basically, we were gonna buy her the coach 
um i think it's called the demi bag i'm gonna put a picture of it here but it's so beautiful and we saw it at the exact same time and we both wanted the same color but i decided we'd gift it to her instead i love honestly coach is one of those brands that i like every single one of their bags like i want every single bag that they come out with i was trying to get hold of that bag but it is sold out everywhere i think it's their new it bag of the season i know last year or two years ago it was their pillow bag yeah i saw that everywhere i'm hoping if we go to Traff center they will have it in Selfridges, but if they don't, I know that she likes a few other of their bags, so she can just pick out which one she wants. I thought that would be easier instead of getting one and then she has to return it. I was contemplating leaving my hair natural because I feel like it looks quite tamed today, but if anyone else has wavy hair, can you let me know like what products you use? Because I feel like whenever I leave my hair natural, it kind of just looks messy and I don't love it. I think for summer, it's a cute look, but winter, I always... I know this makes no sense but I always want heat in my hair that might just be me but if you do have this kind of texture hair please let me know what kind of product you use and also do you use a diffuser in your hair because I used to and this was before I bleached it because before I bleached it it was a lot more um uniformed if that makes sense like all the waves kind of look the same but I, f I think after I bleached it I really ruined the texture of my hair but yeah, that's the story for another day. I'm going to get ready to go and I will see you guys at Shuffle's Hat. I'll see you guys at Shuffle's house. I'm at Shuffle's house, aka the birthday girl. It's birthday the birthday girl. weekend. I was telling them how we had plans to go to dinner and then we literally cancelled them because we couldn't be bothered. I prefer staying in. Yeah. And the day before I went out already to eat. Oh yeah. So I had to recharge my social battery. I couldn't do it two nights in a row. That's the word. I feel like our social battery depletes really around. fast. Right now we're going for brunch, and then that's it. We're gonna be done yeah, for, we're the, rest done of for the, the day. day. Mm. I just brushed all my hair out. Ramisha on Instagram. She did an air wrap tutorial. And she yeah. used this mousse. I think her yeah. hair's always really pretty. Yeah. Well, so. She uses this, and then she used. Have you heard of Color Wow? Yeah. That guy, I've seen all, Chris all that, yeah. He's a like Kim Kardashian's hair I've stylist. seen those. And he uses Color Wild products. They're magic. It's, it's, this, it's this one, it's a like water, was it the water the dream, resistant? Dream I've coat. seen people They're quite pricey, that. but I and do want to get that. She used it on her hair. Like, uh, I think it's like a top coat kind of thing. I want to get it because it makes your hair look really shiny. Yeah. I'm going to use this GHD and spray. Oh, oh okay. heat protected spray. And then this, what's it called? The Alviv Waves Waterfall. I think any mousse will work. Yeah, probably. What barrel is this? Is this a model? This is the skinny one. You get like a fat one and a skinny one. This oh. is a skinny one. Oh. So always the arrow that points away from your face. So you use that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was looking in the mirror. Like, can you see it's facing that way? Okay. So then that's for this side okay. of the head. To grab all the hair and then just let it wrap. And then I do 10 seconds on the hot setting and then do the cool shot button for 10 seconds and then it sets the hair. Do you know before, right, I heard someone horning <laughs> loads outside and then I looked outside the massive white Hummer and then for a split second I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> Did you think we were gonna pick you up in a limo? I was like, no, we're not we like that. You would never do that. Oh my gosh, I imagine. think he picked someone up down there and he was like honking his horn. And Hilarious. Literally for a split second, I was like, they didn't. Barbie, I want a skinny Barbie. Have you watched that? No. Blend that fam the instant family or something. Yeah. It's so good. What a TV show? No, it's a movie. I think I have watched it. It's really good. Is it an emotional one? Yeah, it's emotional. It's one of those much hair at the top, uh, moose at the top of your head. You told me to. Can you famous. show them what you just sprayed on me, please? Because it smells amazing. So, Pen Halligans, Mr. Sam. That's. Amazing. Is that it's a male? So one? it's unisex. Oh, Basically, okay. the one that everyone gets from Pern Halligans is Halfetti. Oh, okay. This oh, okay. is really is similar. Is it even in focus? This is really similar, but it's not as sweet and it's more like I feel like Fraz could wear it too. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Halfetti, I feel like it's Her a bit husband. more feminine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the head, the bull, like the animal heads, but you know. It's very like. And then I have this one with the lady's legs at the top, so I look. What? Show it. I don't know anything about that. Scandal. Perfume. This is nice. Oh, but it just looks funny in my yeah, tray. Yeah. This is going well. Is it? Yeah, but... <gasps> oh my god, it is! 
as we know, my hair doesn't hold curls. So we'll see how long this wow, lasts. I'm bringing out the trench coat after a whole year. Yeah, I need new white trainers on. Oh yeah, we were saying Shafar looks. Does anyone follow Zozo Fits on Instagram? I love her Instagram page. Her fashion is so fun. Like she just has fun with her fashion. Yeah, this outfit was inspired inspired by her. Yeah, and have you showed you? Yeah, you've seen her jumper. Like she just wears she wears a lot of color, and it just makes me want to buy loads of colorful things. But yeah. Anyway, here. Sorry, coming back here. Are you gonna take your stuff with you? I'm gonna take my stuff with me. That's my hair. I love it. Thanks, Badge. Did it work? Yeah. This is fun. I want someone to do my hair every day. Outfit tours. Outfit of the days. I'm wearing this satin skirt by Shuffer. Well, not by Shuffer. From Shuffer's wardrobe. Did you get this from Nasty Girl, was it? Yeah. And then this jumper from H&M. And Shuffer, what are you wearing? Um, Topshop jumper. Yep. Mango jeans. ASOS trench and then mango bag. Different vibes. <laughs> Very different, different vibes. vibes. Oh no. So it's a few days later now and I just wanted to come in here and end off the vlog I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I've really been enjoying filming little weekly vlogs Let me know if there's any kind of content you guys want to see more of the next vlog will hopefully be a Ramadan vlog inshallah follow me on Instagram and TikTok So I make content over there as well and thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video I hope you guys have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye Oh, 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 oh,